So this is a quote from Dawkins. Ganging up of genes together into cells is easily understood, but why did cells gang together into multicellular clones? Unicellular or acellular organisms abound on our world. These, however, are all small, and it may be useful to imagine a possible world in which there exist large and complex unicellular or multinucleate organisms. Could there be a form of life in which one single set of genes enthroned in a single central nucleus directed the biochemistry of a macroscopic body with complex organs? And I would say probably not. And this is what likely constrains the evolution of the size of monogenomed or mononuclear cells. There are, however, cells that are quite large, as we'll consider, that consist of multiple nuclei. Uh, but cells that consist of just a single nucleus, there's limits to how big those cells can be. And similarly, there are limits to how big organisms can be that are, uh, consist of only a single or have only a single nucleus. There also are limits to how big a organism can be that consists of a single cell, uh, even if that cell does have multiple nuclei. This further is a reason why multicellularity is so often part of the solution towards achievement of large body size among organisms.